We were talking yeah. rooms a little bit earlier, bathroom. I've heard a lot of things about hallways, especially with wood walls and putting a mic at the end of the hallway or anything. Any experience with the hallways? Uh, yeah. Yes, actually, there's a, there's a, uh, I got a great harp sound on a key one time. And there was a hallway involved. It was my hallway. And uh, what had happened was that he had played acoustic harp on the um, track before the one we were cutting. So <clears throat> I had to put him somewhere. I had to put him in the hallway with a, with a big ribbon mic that he was playing acoustic harp through. And then they just busted into this next song, and he's playing electric harp, and his harp amp was in the kitchen next to the hallway. And the door was open. Actually, there is no door. Uh, so, so, so his acoustic mic uh, in the hallway was picking up his amp sound coming from the kitchen. Uh -huh. It sounded humongous. That that kind of happened by accident. Cool. Um, I'm ashamed to say, yeah. but uh, a lot it, of brilliant things happen by accident. Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> it was a real massive harp sound. Huh. Nice. What about the large room? Does it get? Uh, does the sound get swallowed up because the reflective surfaces are so far away? It can. It. It can get it can get swallowed up, um, or become by, less less uh, yeah efficient less less for the impressive room yeah okay I mean you you wanna I think it's good to have a room that you want to kind of excite the room a little bit okay, when you're okay. play you know when you when you're playing you wanna you want an amp that's kind of loud for the room and and there's a, you know there's definitely big rooms that uh, you know. That they're not they're not excited by a by a small harmonica amp, and then it kind of it kind of uh, comes through. Um, but having said that, I think my you know my favorite way of recording blues um, in general, harmonica or not, is um, is to have everybody in the room together. Uh, maybe even with no headphones, actually, you know, like little vocal monitor and and playing together in real time as they would do on a gig or a rehearsal and that's how I re recorded uh, Aki Kumar's latest uh, CD you know there was nobody was in a booth or nothing like that because the cool thing that happens there is that in such a in the situation like that I would just put a mic on each amp you know it's pointless to put a you know room mic in front of the harp amp because if you put you know put that far enough away then you're maybe you're closer to you know the drums or another guitar amp but the beautiful thing that happens is that every mic becomes a room mic you know uh, every drum mic picks up a little bit of the harp and you know and the the vocal mic picks up the harp amp mic and and every other mic so it, it becomes a very natural um, you know it's the most natural sounding sounding thing to have just this you know it, it the bleed just makes it all blend together mm. you know of course it's you know it's a uh, it, it, if you all of a sudden decide you need to do a harmonica solo again you might be sol um so you got to kind of nail it yeah. but but it's a but it's a you know it's a cool sound and uh, you know and you can say with pride too that <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> you didn't alter anything um and uh, I can, uh, yeah, this is the 57 I'm holding here, but there's, for harmonica recording, there's uh, some mics I can recommend. Please. There's, uh, there's uh, you know, been kind of a resurgence in ribbon mics lately. You know, you look at, you know, probably at, at chess records and places like that, that's all I had until they, you know, until they got some, some German Neumann mics, maybe later on and stuff, but um, you know, ribbon mics is a, you know the most, the oldest design. They're very fragile and they're lower output than than uh, something like this or a condenser mic. Um, but they get a very natural sound and they gently kind of roll off some of the high end. So I usually use that for an acoustic harmonica sound some kind of ribbon mic and there's a company in um, 
Washington called Cascade Microphones, who make some very good and very affordable ribbon mics, including one called the Fathead. Um, and it's, I think it's about 150 bucks. And it looks cool and it, it sounds great. Great for acoustic harmonica mm. and also really great to put right upon your amp um, for a closed mic. Actually, they're good room mics too if you got a couple of them. Mm. So I recommend those. And also, uh, uh, John Namath, uh, I recorded his harmonica. He really liked, and I kind of stuck with that for a while, the Sennheiser. Uh, 421 um, microphone, which is a uh, um, well, we'll show a picture of it. Okay. Um, and that's yeah, that's another good good uh, mic that that picks up a little more woofiness than than a than a SM57 or something would, because uh, they're also really good on kick drum and bass and, uh, and bass instruments. So um, those are probably my favorite mics for recording. Harmonica. Great, thanks for that suggestion. And uh, as well as a, you know, any any a condenser mic like this, you know, you can get you can spend anywhere from fifty bucks to uh, you know ten grand on a on a condenser mic, and the difference is probably about four percent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, you know they make good they make good room mics. They pick up a lot and they. And uh, usually that's what will be on your vocal. If that's usually what people use for vocal recording. So um, if you're a harmonica player and singer, um, you know that's my that's my tip for the quickest way to uh, to a good harp sound, just to be in a room with your amp and leave this sucker on when you when you're playing a harmonica.